We are getting our first look at beached shipping containers that are washing up on remote island shores. The sea cans are connected to the stricken Zim Kingston, which is still battling fires on board. CTV Scott Cunningham has the latest. Bent and battered, a massive sea container sits stranded on a once pristine BC beach. The beach that you can barely access is just strewn with fridges. Like there's fridges everywhere. Some are really damaged. Some look like you could just take it home and plug it in and it would work fine. The tattered mess of metal is one of four sea cans the Coast Guard has found on northern Vancouver Island. All are connected to the crippled MV Zim Kingston, which lost 109 containers in a storm before suffering a fire in the remaining cargo. Unicorn, a dinosaur, a backpack. Wednesday, a school class from Port Hardy took a field trip to a remote Cape Scott beach. There, they found toys, yoga mats, garbage, and fields of refrigerators. There were things that... Um, that looked like they could have, you could have, if they were dry, could have just been off on a showroom floor. Like the vessel's owner is taking responsibility for the spill, saying the company also confirms that they have hired a specialized marine service company that will be responsible for the removal of any containers that have or might at a future date land on shore. It's devastating. I mean, these are beaches that we clean every year and we left them in really good shape. Conservation groups are furious, saying brightly colored toys will be eaten by shorebirds, and that is only the beginning. Some of that stuff is small enough that other marine life could easily ingest it. It blocks the digestive tract, gives them the sense that they're full when they're not, so they don't feed properly. It can impair survival in a lot of different species. How quickly salvage teams will arrive here is unknown. For locals, it can't come soon enough. It's just slowly spreading around, and um, yeah, it's going to really impact that area for years. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Victoria.